A lot of the component parts for DNS you quickly tee the dream quickly. Some of the old cables. Gear change in my throttle. I notice I've only got one of these which goes on the front. Uh, the carburetor and chain in there and a bit of oil. The sprocket. Rear brake mechanism. Suspension units, rear tail light, swing arm items, engine bolts, and an item for keeping the chain away from the casings. Two front, front and rear hubs. These are the wheels for the NSU Quickly T. And these are the suspension units, which I must clean up. These are the main component parts of the NSU Quickly T, the Dream Quickly, that I have. A lot of them are powder coated. And I had to paint on the light green colour myself. The mud guard was powder coated, but I had to repaint it because the powder coating didn't come in the light green colour. Handlebars, petrol tank, seats. So I'm going to start putting it all back together now. Item number two there is the steering head race, and there's two of them, so I've just installed them. Next thing to do now is to attach this rear swing arm to the main frame with this bolt and these two suspension units. There are two different sides. This piece here with the protrusion goes on the inside here. The flat section goes on the outside. That's the one at that side now in place and that's the other one in place. Right, this is how it goes now. This section goes in there. And this bolt goes directly through the whole thing. Now that's the bolt driven through there. As you can see it swings. And it comes out the other side. So I just need to put a washer on that now. And a nut. That's assembled there now. Uh, the nuts are actually uh, 22 mil, so you need 22 mil spanners. Okay, at the back here, item number 11 for the suspension. Uh, is a bush and they're a kind of a hard plastic bush that's what they're like so I've just installed that one there and I must put another one at the other side that's the two of those bushes installed there now this little bolt goes through them at the bottom of the suspension that's how it operates there the pin goes through the suspension out the back and there's a circlip holds it in place. The next thing to do now is to attach this section here, which is the section that the seat seats sit on. And that's bolted through there with this bolt. That's that section bolted in place there now, and you have to line it up here as well. There's another bolt of some description goes through there. So these are 17 mil nuts, so you need a 17 mil spanner. To hold this section together, uh, you require a 75 by 10 mil bolt. I had to make one 
and thread it there because uh, I can't find the bolt that uh, I actually took out of it. Next thing to do now after putting in that bolt is to attach the petrol tank and it's attached on the frame there on both sides with a 6 by 12 bolt and here there's a long bolt that actually goes through this is it now that's the petrol tank in position uh, 6 by 12 mil bolts both sides and a long bolt that goes through there and I'm going to put on the rear suspension there now next at both sides. Okay, I must drive this pin through now and put a circlip on the back of it to keep it in place. These are the component parts for the swing arm. We have uh, the original gasket, uh, lock washer, lock nuts, cover plate number 17, ball race, ball bearings, the two swing arms and the respective bolts for that. So I'm going to put that together Okay, now. the first thing to do with the front swing arm I was actually going to put this onto the stock itself but I decided against it because the mudguard must go on before it goes onto the stock. So what I'm doing now is I'm temporarily putting a bolt through here and through here which goes through onto a square nut which is actually housed inside there like so. That's where that goes. So I have to put on the mud guard before I can do anything up there. Right, I have the bolts through there now on the swing arms. And I didn't bring them out any further than that. Right, the next thing to do is actually to attach the suspension units here. But the suspensions don't rock around you need they're a kind of a hard plastic um, insert that goes in here. I have one in there already. Right I'm putting on the uh, suspension there now at this side here and there's a particular way that uh, the rubbers go on it. This little cap goes underneath and the rubber goes into it like that and that goes on there like so so basically it goes on like that right this little pin goes on next Push it down over the bar and down through the bottom rubber. Then it gets installed like so. This other rubber and the cap go down on top of it and then the nut after. So that's the other rubber attached there now and the cap on top of it and I'll just install the bolt now. Okay I've just attached the nut on the top of it there and I must tighten it up. And there's actually a special pin that goes through here, but I'll have to order two of them. I can't find them. They're somewhere in a box, but I just can't find them. And I had everything nicely put away. But for the moment, I'm using a 6mm bolt just to hold it in place. And a nut on the end of it. Now, I must install this cover here, which covers over all this unsightly business here. And it goes on like so. And it's attached with a 5 by 6 mil bolt at the rear end. That's it installed there now with a 5 mil bolt on the inner side. Right, I'm doing the same at the opposite side there now. Now, 
ideally this should be done putting on the suspension should be done before putting on the mud guard but I made a mistake so I'm just backtracking on it um, I had this incorrectly installed I had all of this above here up there which was incorrect this is the correct way of doing it so I must tighten that bolt up now and put the cover back on the next thing to attach now is the little quickly badge that goes on the front mudguard when you purchase these badges they don't come with anything to actually attach them now I can see straight away that if I actually put uh, I normally use three mil bolts uh, to go through with nuts at the other end you'll need to put something here to take up the slack here so that when you tighten the nut on the other side at the other side of the mud guard it doesn't pull this down and distort the emblem that's the badge installed there now on the front i'm going to put the swing arm now onto the main frame right, the mud guard now is down over the shaft there and i must put in the square bolt in the inner section there so that I can bolt the bottom of the mudguard to the swing arm in okay, front. Okay, that takes a bit of time and a bit of pulling and dragging. It's not easy to see where the nut is inside there, but there's a special compartment for it. You can probably see it through there and there. The nut is inside in that little container there. So it just takes a bit of time, it's fiddly, but it's on now anyway. 21 5mm ball bearings there now to be installed there, and they're held in position by that cone over there. 21 the 5 mil stock. ball bearings on the top section there now Next as thing well. to go on now is this piece here, which uh, is part of the ball race, and it keeps the ball bearings in position. like so and the next thing to go on then is the cover that goes over it and the next part to hold it all in position is this narrow nut so that requires a 36 mil spanner so I tighten that down now onto the thing and that will make everything secure. That's the nut in place there now tightened up. The next thing to do is to install the handlebars now. With the handlebars this piece here is normally attached to the handlebars but in this case it broke off. These are the handlebars and that's the way it goes so that should be welded and attached there so I'm going to have to weld that now first to be able to continue this is the uh, bell and it comes in two sections I've just attached the lower section there with a six mil bolt and it attaches on to those two holes there like so Right, that's the bell in position there now. Um, it's normally 7 mil bolts go through it, but I had to use 6 mil with nuts and spring washers and stuff like that because I couldn't find the other ones. Um, they were probably too rusty to reuse them. <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to put the front wheel on here because I don't think there's anything else that I need to do or that stops me from doing that. Right, I put on the handlebars there temporarily just to be able to turn the moped upside down. Is a lot easier to install the wheel that way. So the important thing about it is that when you're installing the wheel you have to install the speedo 
which goes on there. Uh, there's no spacers used in the front wheel. So the next piece to attach it. now at the front there to try and finish it off is the front brake lever. Uh, there's a small little it's a kind of a, a rubber washer goes in there and there's a grooved section there and this is grooved so that it doesn't move so you can attach it on like so and have to tap it in place there and install the spring washer and the nut on it. It's now tightened in place and you need an 11 mil spanner and an 11 millimeter nut. Now this is what it looks like at the present time standing the correct way up. I think the next thing that I possibly can do is attach the rear wheel I'll reassess it now in a minute, but I think I possibly should be able to attach the rear wheel. I know I must change. I must change this arrangement here. That's this is incorrect. Uh, this lower section should be underneath that metal. Right, I've changed them around there. Now I actually took the petrol tank off again just to make sure I could get it done correctly, and I took out that bolt there so that it could swing up and down like so. So I must put this bolt back here now and I actually found it. I found the correct bolt correct inside bolt another box. Place there now. now I'm going to put the now petrol I'm just tank putting back on up. the rear section there just to look and see if everything is working out okay, particularly the fuel petcock to make sure that it doesn't get cut on it and I've just noticed that the bolt that actually holds the bottom section of the petrol tank that goes right through to the other side must actually go through this rear cowling. I put on the so I have circlet to take that there off now again. holding that bottom pin of the suspension on both sides. I've installed the other one there as well. It's impossible to see it but it's there. Right, having put the cowling down over it, I found that this bolt had to be taken out. There it is. That goes in through those okay, holes. Okay, I there. have attached the NSU symbol there at the front, and I've also attached the other one there at the back. I've used three mil bolts, nuts, spring marshals. Right, the next thing to do now is to put on this carrier. Now I have the uh, front NSU emblem on, I have the rear emblem on, and I have the carrier on. Now I was putting on the seats on top, but in actual fact the seats bolt onto the frame. And also there are connections, little connection places inside this housing for the wiring. So now I'm going to I have put the wiring the on rear next. casing up through the thing after installing the wiring loom. And as I was suspecting the rear seat bolts through those four holes. So that's what I'm going to do next. I've also put in this bolt here that goes right through and comes out through the other side of the frame. Okay, finally I've got the rear seat on. I had to jig around the holes and re-drill them a bit to help the bolts to go through. But now I've uh, assembled them with 6mm bolts, spring washers and washers themselves. Now I can install the rear wheel. Now I've got the rear wheel on. The rear seat is on. The next thing to do now would be to put in the, now air, fil the air filter down in position. 
taken out the handlebars which I had on temporarily anyway and I've installed the lower section of the front light cowling and it's down over the bell and I'm now going to put it says six I'm by now attaching the front mil. seat there and I'm just out to put on a different petrol cap on it. Now that's the front better. seat bolted on there. You can see here that there's a hole with a kind of a springy mechanism above it. There should actually be a bolt going down through there that actually goes yeah, up it actually there. Shows it's it on a specific the book there, type number of 21. Bolt. It's not actually a bolt. Number 21 is it's a rubber plug in actual fact. That's how it's looking so far now, out in the sunshine.